it's time for you to move on to the next prayer station. I hope you are able to hear God lead you into a new idea, and you're excited to see Him do a work in you through this new idea. Please make your way to station number six, the messy middle. I've asked our friend Deb Gear to help us understand this messy middle during our prayer journey today. The messy middle might seem a strange term to use during a prayer journey. You've listened to God's voice at each station. Your action plan is being formulated. But now the hard work begins. Life is not always easy, even for committed Christians. We have to learn to work through the difficult parts of life yet know that God is always with us. Perhaps you have some area of your life where you will find yourself wrestling with God, as Jacob did. Working through the details of your plan causes you to focus on things that will not always be able to be seen until the end result. Perhaps you find yourself going always two steps forward, one step back. In the messy middle of our spiritual journey, we learn about continuity. Even when we feel distant from God, He is always there. We learn to control our own feelings and bring them more into the image of Christ as we are attempting to pursue following him. We find connection not only with God, but with others along this journey. Time and effort are required in this process. We have to commit to self-examination, studying the word, interactive prayer, and listening to those who would lovingly speak into our lives. Let God be ever-present in your own messy middle. The growth, learning, and relationship that flow from your personal messy middle will ultimately lead toward our collective goal of reflecting the image of Christ to a hurting world. How do you see yourself putting your plan into action? How do you achieve your goal? Do you need to manage time better? Do you need to commit more of your day to prayer and study of God's word? Do you need to find a mentor to help you? The messy middle requires both time and action. Chances are this will require some type of resource outside yourself. Ask God to help you with the direction and clarity you need to work through your own messy middle. 